What if the next big trend in society isn't accidental? Could small actions be driving massive change intentionally? In today's video, we explore Malcolm Gladwell's newest book, Revenge of the Tipping Point, uncovering how overstories and super spreaders are shaping our world and what that means for all of us. Hello, book foxes. Welcome back to at the Book Fox Summaries, where books are simplified for your busy life one summary at a time. Today, we dive into a fascinating follow-up to a modern classic. Published in 2024, Revenge of the Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell revisits the groundbreaking ideas from his 2000 bestseller, The Tipping Point. This book explores how societal change is engineered through stories and key influencers using real-world examples ranging from media to pandemics. In Revenge of the Tipping Point, Gladwell introduces overstories, powerful overarching narratives that shape how we think and act. He uses real-world examples such as how media narratives about the Holocaust in the 1970s reframed historical awareness and public consciousness. He also delves into the super-spreaders, people or entities that act as catalysts for rapid societal shifts. One fascinating case study involves Medicare fraud in Miami, which started with a few small loopholes but spiraled into a massive systemic issue when exploited by just a handful of influential players. Similarly, Gladwell explores how crises like the opioid epidemic gained momentum through the actions of a few pharmaceutical companies whose influence extended far beyond what anyone anticipated. Lastly, Gladwell ties these concepts into modern issues like the role of social media in creating viral movements. Through these examples, he examines how a small spark, guided by key players and reinforced by the right narrative, can ignite sweeping changes. What's one societal trend you think started small but exploded into a global phenomenon? Let us know in the comments. Rather than fictional characters, the book's characters are the societal phenomena and individuals driving change. For example, Gladwell highlights the role of media in amplifying overstories and the ripple effect caused by key influencers in spreading ideas. One of the central themes of the book is the idea of intentionality behind societal changes. Gladwell challenges us to think critically about how much of our behavior is influenced by invisible forces, like overstories. These narratives, often driven by powerful media outlets, corporations, or governments, can dictate how we perceive and react to events. Another powerful theme is the fragility of systems. Gladwell shows how a single superspreader can exploit or amplify weaknesses in a system, from public health crises to financial fraud. This raises questions about accountability and the ethics of influence. Ultimately, Revenge of the Tipping Point isn't just about how trends grow, it's about who controls those trends and for what purpose. Gladwell invites us to see the power dynamics at play and to consider the unintended consequences of rapid change, whether they benefit society or cause harm. An overstory is not just a narrative, it's a framework that reshapes how we see the world. Here Gladwell emphasizes that overstories go beyond storytelling, they're tools that influence our decisions and even our sense of morality. Consider how media coverage can make one issue seem urgent while ignoring others, it's not accidental. Super spreaders are the architects of tipping points, individuals who harness connections to magnify their impact. This highlights how certain people, with the right network and timing, can dramatically change the trajectory of a movement or idea. Think about influential figures on social media, many trends wouldn't exist without their reach. Every tipping point is a collision of circumstance and choice, but not all are created equal. Gladwell points out that while some tipping points feel organic, others are carefully engineered. This challenges the idea that societal shifts happen naturally and asks us to consider the hidden agendas behind them. We found Gladwell's exploration of overstories fascinating. It made us wonder, how much of our behavior is influenced by narratives we don't even realize are there? This book was a wake-up call to question the forces shaping our world. If you loved The Tipping Point, this book offers a deeper, thought-provoking look at how change happens and the hidden forces driving it. It's a must-read for anyone curious about the intersection of psychology, sociology, and current events. Interested in how small actions can lead to significant change? Check out our summary of deep work by Cal Newport, which explores the power of focused effort in a world full of distractions. It's a perfect complement to Gladwell's ideas. Curious to dive into the full story? Check out the affiliate link in the description to get your copy of Revenge of the Tipping Point. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, 
hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life, and let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Books Simplified, Minds Amplified, see you in the next summary.